Good morning. We have got Sarah with us. Hello. Hi. Now you are a wine gecko. Yes, indeed. Well, so, this, yeah, I'm not the only gecko, but oh, yeah, no. I am a gecko. Oh, you are a gecko. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more for anybody who has never uh, watched you or has known about white gecko? What is all about white gecko? Yeah, so um, white gecko is um, we're a um, craft company. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a little shop in Dennis Paris, uh -huh. just outside Cardiff. Yeah. Uh, this three of us is myself, Sarah, Jane, and Sean, uh -huh. um, and we've got fabrics and yarns and, and all sorts of yummy goodness in, yeah. the, uh, in the shop. So, and yeah. then you of course come up with templates and patterns yeah. and this is what you have brought us today. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So I've brought you um, my, my applique templates today. So um, yeah, it started a little while ago, well back when we started the, the shop about f um, five years ago, a lady came in and she wanted a, an air balloon, um, ah. which I can show you later, yeah. um, applique template, a lady called Geraldine and uh, I drew that for her and then yeah. people kept saying, oh, you know, can you draw me this, can you draw me that and then yeah, these kind of came out of that. So, and that's fabulous because yeah. you and then that means that there is a need for this and you have yeah. fulfilled that need for you know like, um, you know quilters, patch workers, yeah. you know, things like, but also car makers because Absolutely. you can transform these templates into templates for craft paper crafting yeah. as well. Yeah, so they were originally designed for um, for quilting and patchwork and to be done in fabric, but um, recently somebody said to me, she, they were like, oh, but you could do paper craft with them as well. So, um, we, you know, you can use them for um, like scrapbooking pages and doing decoupage okay. and that yeah. stuff as well. Now, of course, uh, we have got here the options to go through. There is also a complete bundle so if you wanted to go for that one, that would be it. So if you wanted the complete bundle, uh, the details are at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go, of course it has got a further saving in there. Now if you wanted to go for the individuals, we are going to now look at them. Now of course we have got here the set A, which is that one, which is let me show you yeah. there so you can see here the, the instructions yeah so this is a little instruction on how to use the the templates that are in the booklet um, and you've got 16 templates in there which is the I don't know if you can see it, the quilt, or so the red quilt just at the back here. So that's all 16 templates in there. And the instructions are a, a how, to, how to guide. They're a step-by-step -step guide. Okay. And then, of course, we do have got, there you can see it, uh, the, oh, of course, the templates. But that is the finished quilt, isn't it? It the, is, yeah. That's that's a quilt done with the, uh, the templates. Our uh, producer, Chris, loves uh, the other uh, world. But, of course, uh, the penguin, the, the, you know, the owl, the house, mm. the cat. The, whale, the whale's. My favourite. Oh, I love that one. that's so cute. <laughs> yeah. And of course, the, the the van. And then, of course, you have got here all the templates. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you've got sixteen templates in there. Um, and they're all numbered as well. So they they are designed for um, applique, so yeah. that you can cut the individual pieces out of different fabrics. And I, I'll show you how to do yeah. that later. Um, and yeah, and stick them on and yeah. and decorate them now, as you want. I have got a question now. If, if I for my own personal use. Mm -hmm. yes, could I photocopy to transfer them? So they are for my personal use. Yeah, yeah, for personal use only, you can photocopy them, make them bigger or smaller. So like with the elephant or yeah. the whale, you could have, you know, mummy whale, mummy yeah. whale, baby whale, you know, and all. Yeah. So I'm, uh, we're absolutely happy for you to, ah. to photocopy them and reduce them. You know, if you scan them into the computer, you can reduce them or increase them in size. Yeah. Perfect. As long as it's for personal use, you can do that. And that absolutely. means that you can keep your templates pristine for the next project if yeah. you want. If you want, this is set A, then we have got, of of course, a set of B, which features. Now, uh, I'm going to show you. Um, let's see. Well, the instructions are the same, aren't the they? Instructions are yeah, the instructions are the same. So, do you have the yeah. same instructions? But then you have got the hot uh, air balloon, of course. Yeah. There you have. And then you have, oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Cupcakes and uh, fire trucks. I things. Oh, look. Oh, I it's love jellyfish. the jellyfish <laughs> and the flamingo as well. And of course, you have got, uh, look, oh, the sloth. Uh, yeah, sloth. And then, of there. course, the, uh, and then mm, yeah. my favorite, probably, turtle. Uh, now, of course, uh, we are going to hold, yeah, we yeah. have got a finished sample <laughs> from that. And let's yeah, see. Yeah, there wasn't quite enough room to get them all up, so. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's we lovely because we have got, look at that. So, oh, look at that. Can, ooh, shall, shall we move? Can, Should we move this way a little bit? There, there we go. You have it. <laughs> Look at that. You can see everything so in there. Got, yeah, you've got a flamingo and a crab at the bottom. A plane. It's a little princess castle there at the very there, bottom as well. That is absolutely, absolutely good. And look, I love the jelly, jelly, uh, jellyfish because yeah. it has got a rainbow uh, fabric in there. Of course, that's your choice. Yeah. Of course, you have got the bees as well. The hot air balloon. Look uh, <laughs> at the turtle at the top. Slot. The, 
do you know, I think this is my favorite. With the lion, the little, you know, so many items in here. And remember, they are templates. So you will have the templates to use it. And then yeah. you could do maybe cushions, maybe other projects. Maybe you can make a smaller quilt if yeah, you want to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you don't have to use all 16 in one quilt. You know, you can use just four or five, make a play mat. Yeah. Um, and they're perfect yeah. for using up all your scraps of fabric. So if you've got some, like, really special little fabrics you yeah. want, you know, you don't know what to use them for, you know, you've like with the whale on that one, you know, it's yeah. a it's a nice different fabric. It is absolutely. If that is set uh, B, and then of course we have got set C, which is here. Now you can see now that one again with the instructions, and then let's have a look at some of the templates that you are getting in here. So you can see the uh, the, the gorgeous sailboat. Of course, you have got the the rocket launcher. <laughs> you know, it's a rocket yeah, there. And the, oh, the astronaut. Uh, yeah, space the little spaceman astronaut. I'm really really pleased with him. He's lovely. <gasps> Look at the hedgehog, and of course we have got um, a squirrel, and then the unicorn. Unicorn on the back, yep. Now, of course, if remember that is a choice of if you go for the detail uh, on, the, at the, at, on the left hand side of the, your screen, and then of course we have got the full quilt here. Look, can we have got the <laughs> spaceman? I mean, is isn't it amazing? It's absolutely. Now, of course, if we have got uh, we have gonna we have got here. And then, and then <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like and I'm always kind of confused about the directions <laughs> because it depends where, where you look at them. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we have got, of course, we have got different elements in there. I love the dragon. Is that a, yeah. is that the car? The, the, yeah, the a little Welsh bit of a Welsh way, thing uh, in there. The yeah, <laughs> and then kind of, of course, a red dragon. <laughs> yeah, and then the sailboat. Of course, we have got the teddy bear. And I think our Shona is very excited about that dinosaur because she loves the dinosaurs. Oh, and I think so. Gotta love a T-Rex. <laughs> uh, yeah, indeed. And then of course we have got the hedgehog, the sheep, the squirrel, the giraffe, the ladybirds, and the seahorse. Now of course uh, you, you can have got all these options. However, if you wanted to go for the complete collection, so that would be which most people are going for the full collection the details are on, on the screen now that would be that you will have 48 templates in total it is extremely popular already 20% uh, of the full collection has gone now you mentioned before the show that it kind of translate those templates into paper crafting. Absolutely, crafted. yeah. So it's I mean, something we're just sort of playing with, but the little rocket template here that you can see, which you get in set C, yeah. um, one of the, uh, Sean, yeah. one of my colleagues actually made it up um, as in yeah. paper. So you could use them, you know, again, if you reduce it down, you could use it on cards yeah. or you could use them, you could you know, put them in a frame for a children's wall, bedroom wall um, or for scrapbooking, you know, so they could be absolutely used for this. And then, of course, you can use them onto scrapbooking, yeah, the so beautiful the flower in there yeah. that you have. And that's great. You know, even I would, I'm, I'm, I love a scrapbooking, but mm. I also like incorporate fabric into yeah. different things. So you absolutely. could cut it out of fabric, create maybe a blanket stitch and then incorporate yeah, it into definitely. your pages. Yeah. As well if you want to go for the complete collection you also have a got a flexi buy option you can spread the cost into payments of 19 pounds and 99 pence but one of payment if you wanted 39 pounds and 97 pence three eight seven six seven three is your item number for the complete collection however if you just wanted one of them for instance if you wanted that one that would be the C t uh, bundle which the details are on the bottom of the screen and you will include 16 templates for that one now of course from uh, to the stamp place, we are going to go for full quilts, uh, full kits. Mm -hmm. Now, in this one, you have got variations or options. So we are going to start with the first one here. Yeah. Can you tell us where we do we get in this? Yeah, so um, this is the animal quilt mm -hmm. kit. Um, you've got a full pattern in okay. there, um, as well as six templates. Mm -hmm. You've also got an alphabet template in Perfect. there as well. And it, they've already been mirror imaged for you because Fabulous. of the yeah. fusible web in the bond web. Oh, yeah, it all needs to be, otherwise your letters are back yes. to front when you do it. And that's very important, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you've got your six templates in your alphabet. You've got your pattern. You've also got your backing fabric, all of your sashing fabrics. You've got your binding fabric. Yes and your, all your applique fabrics you as well. Do you think you're back in fabric? Well? Uh, no, background, so, uh, background. background. Oh, so, right, um, sorry. By yeah. that I mean yeah, this yeah, yeah, one yeah, here yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. mount the on. Panels, so, yes. fabric for yeah. the background. Yes, yeah. yeah. so you're getting everything in there Fabulous. to do the, do the top. And then you just need to fi finish it off. You know, yeah, you just need to add your wadding. Yeah, because that, then everybody has got their preferences, yeah, doesn't definitely, it? You know? yeah. And of course, you have got here, you can see, uh, you can see there that you have got the templates here for the alphabet. You know, another thing that I noticed about your mm -hmm. product, products is the 
quality of oh, the paint. You. Everything seems yeah. to be done with the utmost care. Thank and you. And I just love that. Yeah. And I love that there is, of course, this is a project that you will be able to do. Um, now, of course, you have got there the a beautiful bee there. The kind of are so cute, such a mm -hmm. cute frog. Is, is that... Is that a kind of a cot size? Um, yeah, so it's 36 by 56, but again, you could add extra borders onto it if you wanted. Uh, and the animal quilt, you've got this, the six animals there, but it, you would don't necessarily have to use all six. You oh, might yeah. have, you, know, you might be having a duck themed yeah. nursery and you could do like all ducks on it and then personalize it with the baby's name. Yeah, it's, and I love that kind of welcome in there as well. So by having, uh, you know, by having all, of course, all the, um, the alphabet template, <laughs> you know, yeah. You can then put whatever name yeah, there are, and of course, yeah. a lot of children, you know, nowadays the names are so They've got big. unusual names, yeah, yeah, so, yeah absolutely. And, so you can really personalize. And you based in Cardiff, of course, you many of them are spelled different ways. Absolutely, so yeah. So that is absolutely <laughs> fabulous. And of course, you have got all the templates and all the fabrics in to create that coil top. I mean, it is fabulous. I just think it's bright, it's cheerful. Yeah. You know, it's just something little bit, you know. And also, it's nice to create that heirloom piece for your children and Absolutely, then you can have yeah. it. Now yeah. of course then we have got the uh, transport option here which features of course uh, the you can see there now oh the fire yeah mm -hmm. the fire engine of course and they are, uh, do you get exactly the same um, exactly the same amount of fabric slightly different colors okay. in the applique yeah. pack um, so it's a gray and orange um, one on that one we have got a Sample. Yeah. Which I'll grab oh yeah. To show let's you. grab yeah. the sample. Of course. Again, if you want get it, it up. <laughs> the, the details are on the screen. Remember that is your choice of animal, which was the previous one. Transport is the one we are going to show you now. So that's and you one. can see. Oh, I think <laughs> a lot of little or big boys are going to yeah. love that one. Um, apparently, there is a big boy in the gallery. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Mm, Look at go. that. I love that it has got the van, it has got the yeah, sailboat, got camper van. it has got the, uh, of course, the, uh, oh, look at that, yeah. I love that sailboat, it's just mm -hmm. my favourite thing, and of course you have got the moped or the, yeah, and there Scooter it is, it and the then we have got in there the, of course, I did, um, the train. train. Yeah, and like a steam train, yeah. That's lovely, absolutely, and I love the colours here now, they Thank become you. a little bit more, a little bit more like six, seven, eight, eight. Yes, eight, eight. absolutely. Yeah, and you could do this for an older yeah. child. Rather and of than course, a we are going to show you again the car and the fire engine, and of course that Thomas. That of course you have the full alphabet. Here. Yeah, again, there's a full alphabet in it, so you can personalize it to whatever, whatever name yeah, you want. Whatever yeah. name. So if yeah. even if you have got a very, very uh, oddly spelled name, a very original name, you will be able to spell that for your child, your child, friend, uh, ch children's friends, whatever. Uh, that is the uh, transport option. Then we have got another option for you, of course. This, oh, I do like that. This is the <laughs> cute option. I'm going to show you a couple of them. Yeah. And you can see the cute there. Look at that. So you've got a little bird. Ah, a a little bit. And then, of course, we have got the unicorn mm -hmm. there, of course. Then we have got that. And then, of course, that is the one that is behind me. Yeah. So if we look there, uh, you can see that. Oh, look at the unicorn. Mm -hmm. And this is more for girls. It's it. Well, it's anybody who loves well, pink. Yep. Sorry, <laughs> oh, I should say, yeah, this is very in politically incorrect. What yeah. you said. Whoever likes pink, yeah, yeah, I've got exactly. two little nieces, Amelie and Eloise, who yeah. would love that because they're, yeah, they do like their pink. <laughs> they do, they do. And of course, sometimes, like I work when I was a kid, I did not like pink at yeah. all. And now I do, but I didn't at the time. So, so this, for instance, I would have gone for the transport, but then my sister would have loved that one. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the castles, the butterflies, the beautiful birds. Do we get, of course, the template for the full alphabet? Absolutely, alpha yeah, you've got the, the six. Um, templates you've got the full alphabet yeah. and all your fabrics and uh, again the fabric for the plique is is um, sort of tailored yeah, to the, the colorways on that. Now of course that is the cute option in there and if you want to go for that one you just have got the details on the screen and you choose the option of cute. And finally the final option that we have got here is the nautical one of course featuring animal uh, like you know the seaside, seaside the yeah. sea creatures. Yeah. We do have got that sample as well that do we have that? Which is there? over there so you can see it. Now of course some of the templates that you are going to get. Oh the whale. The whale again. 
one. Uh, he is yeah. my favorite, yeah, I think. <laughs> I think it's many people's favorite, but yeah. I do like the fish. Now, my um, both my sister and her husband are oceanographers, so my oh, niece wow. is really into um, the ocean yeah. and all the things. So they know all the technical names of jellyfish and things <laughs> like that. So even though this is a thing, it's, I think she would absolutely adore yeah. this one because, of course, and she has got an old, um, you know, a name that is not that popular in Spain. So do you could just I could just spell her name in there perfectly. Yeah, it's so difficult to find things with unusual names on. You know, yeah. you you see those pens and key rings yeah. that have got personalised names. Yeah. And you know, if you've got a, a slightly unusual spelling, it's uh, it's so hard to get something. So this is a really nice way of, of doing it that. Yes, yeah. and I love the you know the, I love the fish with the eyelashes. It's yeah. just that touches <laughs> that attention to detail. It's cute, but it is still very much um, you know how can I say? It's still the Sometimes cute can be a little bit simple, but yes. these ones are yeah. beautifully detailed as Thank well. You. Now, if you want to go for the one of these uh, kits, and remember you choose animal transport, not a tickle or cute, 207871. You have got a flexi-buy option of two payments of 26 pounds and 50 pence. Now, of course, if you want one of payment, 52 pounds and 99 pence. Now, now of course, uh, we have got uh, other items on the show, including notebooks, uh, which uh, now they are now I have these ones are options as well mm -hmm. uh, our Alex presenter Alex yeah. when she passed by and she saw this one she was <laughs> absolutely <laughs> in love with it Aww. What are they exactly? Because it's not exactly just a notebook. No, it's not. No. So these were designed by um, my brother-in-law Ian um, for us, oh. and they're exclusive to White Gecko, um, and they're the beautiful designs they are on the gorgeous. front. So all sort of sewing related. Yeah. We've got the black and white one. You can see these little buttons yeah. and needles and stuff on there. Um, then inside. You've actually got ah. all your like quilt sizing, what you can get out of a fat quarter. If, I mean, I'm forever Googling yeah. the sizes of quilts and stuff, or uh. you know, how much fabric do I need? So if you're going to an exhibition or a show and you've got your shopping list yeah. written in there, you've got that reference. You haven't got to keep Googling what you want. So um, yeah, you can see what, exactly all your measurements of what size a charm pack is, what size a layer cake That's is. Fun. So it's all in, in there for you. Now, the other thing I love is the pages feel such a good yeah, quality. Yeah, it's a really lovely quality. The other thing I noticed, I I don't know if it's, but um, it's nice. To, it, you can make easily a grid out yes, of it, yeah. so you could make your own sketch. Yeah, you yeah, know, if, if you're sketching designs or anything. Can you see anything? that yeah. those lines in here? So I would draw those lines down yeah. and make like my own. Uh, like check. a grid paper, grid like a graph paper. paper. So yeah. then I could do my sketches of my patchwork. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it again so you can see that. Yeah, can you see those little dots here. in yeah. there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, then. Didn't want to stay up. <laughs> no, and I'm gonna put it here because show it because you can see that as well. So you can line draw, and then of course you have got three different colorways. So this one is black and white, which mm -hmm. I believe is uh, Alex's favorite. Mm -hmm. And then we have got the multi, which is of course a beautiful different yeah. tone so in look, here. It looks like sort of fabric on there. It's like chiffony yeah, fabric. The photo it of does, it. and of course yeah. you have got the same pages inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and then finally we have got of course this. Up final option, which is the uh, cream. cream. Yeah. I actually think that I would love the cream. Yeah. The, the, I love that's that been one. really popular in the shop. Actually, yeah. that one everyone's kind of been drawn to that it's one. It's got like dressmaking type yeah. things on it. So uh, I, I love that. Yeah. Of course, if you want yours, uh, your item number is 681281, £10 and 99 pence plus P and P. Now, of course, uh, we can find at the web on the website every single item that we have seen on the show. And there we can have a look at the website. And and we can say everything from White Gecko <laughs> that Sarah has brought. We are very busy. So please do check out your baskets as soon as you make your mind up. So not miss it. No, uh, remember that in on the website you will find other items that we may not have seen uh, in this hour because of course Sarah is going to be back at 11 o'clock with myself with some June Taylor fabulous products including that a uh, start saving which is in my shopping list because it is absolutely amazing you can and it is incredibly popular. Last time that June Taylor was here at Hochanda with uh, Jill uh, demonstrating, it did sell out individually. So if you want yours, grab it now that is in stock. I, it's one of those ones that I actually need to put in my, I need to go upstairs and make a purchase because I love it. And of course, there is some Liberty fabric, which I'm not going to say, but you know, again, on my shopping list, it is absolutely fabulous, beautiful fabric. And also I want to mention that two pairs of Fiskars large 
charge universal scissors that is uh, the monthly mega deal and of course it is um they are fantastic value you're getting two scissors of 24 centimeters for 24 pounds and 99 pence they are absolutely stunning and I love that they are white handles because that means that I can write on them not only my name so nobody steals them um, or borrow so that would be the correct way to say it put it and but also it means that I can have one that says paper for my paper crafting and one for my fabric or maybe for a one embroidery one for a I, and I do actually have to say that and you were thinking that large scissors for embroidery well you know what I do like to bend the rules a little bit when it comes to scissors. Anyway, back to, <laughs> yeah, it, but you know what? I have got so many scissors and there is always another pair <laughs> that you can have. Yeah, my uh, colleague Sarah Jane has got a bit of a scissor thing going yeah. on. She's got way too many pairs. Uh, well, uh, we, we shouldn't talk because I have got the same issues. Uh, anyway, uh, right, so what are you going to show us? So I thought I'd do just a little run through of how to use the demos. Perfect. Uh, how to the, use the, the, the sorry, templates. demo, the templates, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wrong words. Um, so using my little duck because he's nice and uh, nice and simple and he's only got three pieces okay. in him as well so I thought it was a nice easy yeah. one for you to have a little look at um, some of the templates have got more pieces some have only just got one or two so you know it did, there is a sort of um, a level of complexity with them mm. um, but they're all pretty simple to use so I don't know if hopefully you can see this um, yeah. <laughs> there's yeah. actually a dotted line mm -hmm. um, on the templates yeah. and that's where you want to draw along those yeah. so that it, the fabric sits underneath oh, okay. yeah. the pieces is on top because yeah. you otherwise you might get little gaps yeah. and you want sort of a Absolutely. thing. That so makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's like going back to school yeah. and you've got to do a bit of tracing. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully you can see this. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you would literally. So they're all all numbered up. Yeah. Um, on piece number one, I'm just gonna. You would just draw around it. Yeah. So with the bonder web that you've got, you get this in yeah. the kit. Oh, fabulous! You yeah. get it as well. Yeah. The, yeah, in the quilt kits you get bonder web as well. Fabulous, so there really fabulous. is everything in yeah. there. Um, if, I mean, there's other ones you don't have to use bond to wear, yeah. Pete and Bond works yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, but there's a rough side and a smooth yeah. side to it. So the smooth side is paper yeah. and the rough side is your glue. Oh, yes. So you want to mm -hmm. make sure that glue, the, yeah. the rough side is down so that you're not drawing on that bit. Um, yeah. And you're just going to tr trace them out in the numbers. Yeah. So you obviously start with number yeah. one and work your way out. And it is really as simple as tracing yeah. out. Yeah very quickly yeah, okay. but where the dotted lines are you actually want to follow that mm, dotted yeah, line yeah. now I'm uh, sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. you but I need, have got some news because of the complete collection you know it's be it's, it's, beco it's becoming really 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 popular <laughs> so much so that over a third of the stock has gone of the complete bundle remember you are getting 48 templates in total that allow you to create and of course remember remember you have got a flexi buy option too but there you have them uh, the three packs a B and C and each of them contains 16 uh, tem templates so you have got 48 in total right okay so um, so to go back so you're just going to trace them out yep. so I'm going to trace out number one mm -hmm. and you can see it looks a little bit odd yeah. it doesn't look quite right but all I've done is just followed those yep. dashed lines okay. I would number the pieces because okay. yeah. it's when I mean this one's quite easy because it's only got three but when you get to something like the camper van yep. which has got 15 or 16 yeah. pieces on actually number your pieces mm -hmm. and I also find as well if you write on them what fabric you yeah. want it to be on so whether it's going to be yellow or green yeah. or, or whatever write onto the okay. that piece as well um, you're going to cut those out, yeah. okay? So with Bonder Web, you want to cut it out. Yeah. I mean, don't be careful yeah. about this. You just want to kind of hack it okay. out, okay? Because you don't want to cut on the line at this point, yeah. okay? You're just going to cut it out really quite roughly, yeah. okay? Um, All the way around. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you're going to cut it out quite roughly, yeah. and you're going to iron that onto the wrong side of okay, the fabric yeah. that you want to use. So obviously with this one, yeah. I've just ironed it on onto to the, the yellow yeah. fabric. Yeah. yeah. All right. And you're going to do that for all of your pieces. Yeah. So you're going to do it for like with this one, okay. the duck. There's only three. Yeah. You've got your body, your wing, and your beak. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to use this as my background square, okay. so I'm going to adhere it onto this yeah. and uh, just move it out of the way. Yeah. Okay, easiest way to get the backing off as well. Yeah. So what I've done is once I've ironed it on, I've then cut it out exactly yeah. on that pencil mm -hmm. line. And by doing that, you're actually fusing the bonder web, the glue through, because yeah. the pressure of the scissors fuses it through yeah. to the fabric. Okay. okay. I'm gonna just score it, because it means the paper comes off nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Like that. So I'm gonna score the three pieces. Yeah. 
Uh, now I have a qu we have had a question from Debbie from uh, and the, her email her question yeah. it says um, she is wondering if she can make uh, items and then sell them on the items. She can if it's for charity. Okay. Um, so it's you know we don't mind if you if you're making things for like um, Project Linus or yeah. if you're raising money for a charity. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. So but we'd yeah. um, we'd rather you know I mean. We'd sort of fair usage policy yeah. type yeah, thing really. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. for charity is fine, yeah, for personal yeah, profit. Absolutely. If you were doing some little like kitty um, aprons or something yeah. and put it on the on the pocket of an apron yeah. that and to sell those, that's fine. But yeah obviously we you know please don't copy the templates and, and sell those. No no finish <laughs> finish samples. So finish what samples you're saying is, is fine, handmade, yeah. hand finished, yeah, you know, not industry level. Yeah, you that's you fine. just as yeah, long fair as it's that fair usage. Good, yeah. yeah I think that is very fair. Yeah that's very good. So right so um, all I've done is I've just peeled the backing off, okay? okay. Um, try and find the centre yep. of your backing square. So I've just cut out a 12 and a half yep. inch square, um, but these size templates you can go anything from 10, yep. 10 inches up to about yep. 12 and a half and they sit nicely. Yep. Just find the centre just by folding yep. it in half, otherwise you get a bit of a wonky yep. duck off to one side. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm going to pop him right in the centre like that. Mm. Okay. And at this, this point, you can then sort of you, know, you can give him a yeah. bit of personality yeah. as well. You know, you can you know, do you want his duck his beak upturned yeah. or you know, um, I'm gonna lay him on like that. You know, okay. how far up do you want his wing to be? Oh, Is he flapping? So you can sort of play with the pieces yeah. and you know, make them a little bit different, make them give him a bit of personality. And so you could actually like I'm thinking have three ducks in a row. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. And then you kinda of have them different slightly different, the yeah. wings and yeah. different ways. Yeah, and absolutely you know, you could you, know, yeah. you can change the shape of his beak yeah. maybe or you know, and stuff. You can you can play with them. Yeah. Okay. You know, once you've got them exactly where you want yeah. them, you know, and, and, and positioned yeah. that right then go in with the iron. Okay. Any specific setting for the... You want it quite hot. You okay. want quite hot iron. No steam though. I wouldn't okay, use yep. steam with it mm -hmm. um, because you want yeah. it. You want that dry heat to yeah. seal it on. Why wouldn't you want a steam on it? Uh, the steam, um, the, it keeps, makes the glue go quite ah. tacky yeah, and because it's yep. wet so you want a dry heat Wait, on it. Um, and then you can decorate him as yeah. you want. You, know, you can embroider into him, you can keep it really simple, you can just add a button on oh. for an eye. You could, if it's for a baby, you might not want to use buttons no, or anything, but you could embroider his eye on. Yeah. You could use a little piece of black fabric and stitch that on. Oh, that um, so once it's at that point, you can then choose how to do your blanket stitching or you can yeah. straight stitch into it. You could use needle turn oh, if you want. Boy. So yeah. So it is that simple? It is that simple. It's so easy to do. They really are yeah. very, very easy now, to do. Now, can I ask it? Can I have a look at how do you do the blanket stitch? The blanket stitch, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. Because I have done it, but I have done it on felt and things that they were on the edge of the, you know, on two edges. Yes, so I don't yeah. never seen it done in. So if in I move finish. that one out of the way and just put my machine over. Okay. Oh, oh, so you do it uh, by machine? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. I was thinking <laughs> yeah, hand no. I mean, you can hand stitch it, and I can show you that if you like, but um, yeah. I'm a I'm a machine girl, I'm afraid. Yeah, oh, I stitch a machine girl. It's so here. much quicker. Yeah. So, so much quicker. Uh, it would be if I could find the blanket stitch now. Oh, Where am sorry, I going? I so, put, no, 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 you're fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Is this that because fine. I need to tell you, sir, um, I'm a paper crafter. Yeah. Like, you know, that's been my job for many years, but I always have had a fascination about soft craft and yeah. I just learning so much and I enjoy it so much. The other day after the show with Natasha, I went home and just saw oh, with my brilliant. sewing machine. Like just, it's just quite addictive it as well is. when she starts, isn't it? And, <laughs> and this is where I have got all these questions that some of them might be stupid. No, not at all. I just think that I just love to learn yeah. and, and we have got amazing guests here at Hortana, mm. so I'm, thank you so much for it. Well, the it. nice thing about these templates is, are, is they are brilliant for beginners as well. You can Fabulous. get a really sort of professional finish, yeah. but you can see with that duck, it's it's yeah. three pieces. It's so easy to do. Uh, yeah. yeah, so um, so I like to machine blanket stitch. I, I It's neater and it's a time saver yeah. and I'm a bit lazy. Uh, <laughs> what sort of food do you have you got on? Um, so I'm, I'm just using Aurifil, but um, uh, I would normally use um, co the coat smooth oh, yeah, thread. Yeah. Um, so it was just the fact that okay, this yeah, was in yeah, my yeah. basket. Okay, no problem. <laughs> um, no. I tend to use this for yeah. piecing, but I like the coat smooth thread yeah. for blankets because it's a little bit yeah. thicker. We do yeah. have that on the show as well. So if you want to restock or get a nicer stock of the coat smooth, you're getting 20 spools of thread, 100, 1,000 a a thousand yards <laughs> in, in the first spool. So you have got a lot. And I love the neutral tones because that's yeah. your essentials, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So there's two different sets. There's a neutral tone. Okay. And then there should be a multi-set as oh, well, I believe. Uh, so 
I personally, so, uh, yeah, neutral, neutral and neutral color. color. So there That's it is, it. the color. So per, probably the neutral is the one that you're going to be using the most, Aved. Yeah, so if you like all your piecing yeah. and actually doing your, your background zone, but the color one in particular is really good for the applique because ah, you can match, you've got all those colors of to course. match with the, uh, the appliques. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. You are saving five pounds, you're obviously paying 20 pounds and 95 pence for 20 times a thousand yards so 20,000 yards 20,000 <laughs> so, yeah. yards yeah it's just just over a pound of real so yeah, it's yeah it's really good absolutely. value it is yeah. absolutely really good value all right so uh, the trick for me for blanket stitching is, mm -hmm. is every machine's different. So you've got to learn how your machine blanket stitch. So for this one, it's like a little five step thing, a five step um, yeah. sort of thing. And the other tip that I would say is make sure you bring your, your thread through, yeah. your bobbin thread ah. up through to the top. Okay. Because otherwise it can get all nesty yeah. in the yeah. bottom. So if I just bring that bobbin thread yeah. through okay. like that. Uh. Uh, it doesn't get all tangled yeah. up underneath, yeah. and it's much easier yeah. then to sew yeah. on. Uh, so. Sorry, okay. uh, what feet are, foot are you using in for? Uh, just the standard sewing foot. Okay. Uh, this is a J foot on this okay. machine. So. Um, yeah, I'm not using a quarter inch or anything because uh, you need it to sort of uh, move backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right. hopefully I've got this on the right setting. Yeah. It looks like it's right. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. it's not. <laughs> sorry, Loveless. Yeah, no. Two seconds. Oh, well. there, there we go. Yeah. There we go. It's right now. So this machine. The idea with blanket stitch is you want to keep yeah. the straight edge of the yeah. stitch right along yeah. the very, very edge of the fabric. Okay. And then it jumps in, yeah. but by keeping that against yeah. the edge, you're stopping the fraying. Ah, I see. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. And then you can get a bit braver and you get a bit quicker with oh, it. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that. It's, if I stop there, you just lift the needle. Ah, you might be able to see that now. Yeah. You can see, so it just okay. finishes that edge, and it will stop any Fray. fraying. Um, and I mean, you will get a little bit because yeah. that's just the nature of um, yeah. applique. But you know, it just kind of, and it gives it that nice sort of, you know, finished edge it as well. It does. I, I absolutely yeah. love, love, love it. Just keep, keep kind of show it. I just, oh, yeah. let me just pull that off there, and then hopefully, yeah, there you it can is. see that. Sorry, yeah, it, it is absolutely fabulous mm -hmm. because I do like that finish. It adds also that element of, you know. Stitch, uh, the stitching did but a little bit more finish. Absolutely, I don't know, it's, it's, yeah. it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Now, of course, if the, you know, you many of you are going for the complete collection, and I'm not surprised. Imagine you, you are gonna get 48 templates in total yeah. in there. You are getting the set A, uh, B, or C. Uh, you are getting A, B, and C, of course, the bundles, 48 templates in total. You are getting, uh, I need to tell you that uh, over half of the stock has already gone mm -hmm. now it is brand new today it is the first hour of course at 8 a.m that uh, white gecko is here on her chanda and do check out your baskets if you want to because it's going very very mm -hmm. fast remember there is a flexi buy option as well right is there anything else that you wanted to show you or to us um, right I, now? I can show you some of the hand blanket stitch okay. yeah yeah, that's yeah. For sure. yeah. okay if so you want to yeah i'll no? show you this oh, okay one. all right so we are gonna uh, well say is, is uh, Setting up the next yeah. <laughs> Let me remind you of uh, wait, what you, what you, oh yeah the star of it. I kind of I do like that. I so uh, Jill from June Taylor are uh, doing uh, amazing. It's just oh the savvy starch spray. Now what it means is that you can finger press with it, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. So with the starch savvy, um, it builds up on the fabric, so it beca they become quite stiff. And yeah. you can finger press them. It also means as well that um, they just kind of hold the shape and they don't sort of stretch when you're yeah. ironing, or, and particularly when you're sort of manipulating them when you're yeah. stitching. It they, they stay in shape much better. And also remember Jill mentioning, of course, she works. Uh, Jill works for um, uh, June Taylor back in the uh, USA, and she. She was telling me that it's one of the few women that are completely man-made, so there is Absolutely. no um, orga like organic made matter that yeah, may so attract. Yeah, some, so some starch um, gets quite flaky yeah. and you get like that brown flake yeah. on your ironing board in your yeah. iron. You won't get that with the yeah. starch savvy, it's really good. And then of course that is a, a starch savvy, so £12.99, 673488. And then we have got another item for you here, which is the quilt ba basting spray. Basting or basting? Ba basting. Basting. Based in spray, spray. Yeah. There you have it. So it comes with a spray, I believe, that one. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, that's, it's, yeah it's, it's, that's an aerosol. Yeah, it's one. an aerosol, so yeah. I'm not going to open it here. <laughs> but so, of course, what does it do, sir? So, um, 
you, that's actually for basting the quilt together. So when ah. you've made your quilt top and you want to attach it to your wadding yeah. and your backing, rather than hand tacking, yeah. which takes forever, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, use your basting spray so and it will temporarily hold it all together before so you quilt it. So it's a temporary de-safe, so mm -hmm. then that is safe and then it will wash away, Absolutely. I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to add that one, in your item number is 319953, £12.99. Oh, yeah. These are the products that I think need to get into my basket because I have got... <laughs> it, it, it's working here it has like I always had a little fascination about sock press but I have never um, because I'm so busy with my paper yeah I kind of never had the time and tuition to get and this is so great mm. working here at her turned that I have seen all this marvelous starting to get, starting to get yeah. the fabric bag uh, <laughs> most definitely most definitely right so what are you gonna reach here um, so I thought you, so one of the this is the sheep template mm -hmm. and you can see on some of the templates when you get them they've got these little pink lines and that's where you need to back stitch yeah. into them okay. to give them their yeah. give them their faces okay, and give yeah. them their personalities yeah. so um, I thought I'd show you that just how to how to embroider okay. in and then some back stitch mm -hmm. if you want to yeah. so I tend to freehand them but you can use it you yeah. know use the template you know so I'm just going to give him his nose yeah give him his nose okay. and then down okay give yeah. him his mouth and again this is where you can make them you know give them their own little oh, personalities and stuff yeah. you know he can be a now, you know, can be an angry sheep or a happy sheep or a sad yeah, sheep you know whatever yeah. you like yeah. <laughs> sleepy yeah. you know you can add uh, yeah. little eyelashes and stuff to him as well <laughs> yeah i was thinking um some paper crafters on uh, some soft crafters may have a light box mm -hmm. could you put the template bottom and then the fabric on top Absolutely. and trace it from yeah the you fabric. could do if you want to if you if you're not confident with yeah. your your freehand drawing yeah. i'm um, not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Absolutely. what I was thinking. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, so all I've just done is just marked in. I've used Frixon pen yeah. just to, to mark in his yeah. uh, his nose, yeah. and I'm gonna just back stitch in his personality, yeah. his little okay. his little nose and his mouth. Yeah. Um, so back stitching is really nice and easy. Yeah. I'm using all six th yeah. strands of thread. You don't have to. You can split the em embroidery yeah. silk if you want, but you know I, I quite like to give that definition. Yeah, so I'm using all really six. Um, Proper lips. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's had a bit of filler in yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's a very. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, up and with and the then, times, <laughs> yeah. kind of fill us in the lips. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and, ah, but this is the bit where they, where yeah. you can make them your own. Yeah. You know, um, the templates themselves. You know, they're all you do. They're all exactly the same. You you construct them the same way. They've all numbered pieces. They all get bond webbed onto your background square. Um, but how you decorate them is yours. You know, you could make these into quiet books for children, yeah. you know, like fiddle books yeah, and stuff. Yeah, so you could put uh, some wadding or yeah, stuffing definitely. inside yeah, it, so and then sew it, and then do like a book. And like, yeah, oh, so like with the brilliant. sheep, you could use um, like a fluffy fabric yeah. or something. So you know, it c becomes quite yeah. tactile for the child. Um, you, you could add, like we say, add buttons. Um, we've added, like on the cat yeah. behind me, we've added a little bell. So, you know, if that was a, a page in a, in a, in a, in book, a soft in a book, book, you could have little That's bells and fabulous. stuff on it. So, you know, how you decorate them is entirely up to you. It really is. It's, you, uh, you know, this book thing, I think it, it's such a great idea because now I am thinking about <laughs> different things. Look at the cat. So cute. It reminds me of Patchy, my neighbor's cat. Oh. He, he used to come and visit this morning. He was at 5 a.m. He came into the window and like, you know. <laughs> uh, Looking for treats. Yeah, <laughs> it's, that's, that's all, the, all they want is the treats. They don't <laughs> want anything else. Uh, he's very sweet. Uh, but uh, of course, the creating that album, that, is, uh, that book, that yeah. song book, it's just fabulous, yeah. isn't it? You know, and like with this, the background on this one as well, you know, it doesn't have to be a solid piece of fabric yeah. like the white ones or, you know, this. I just pieced yeah. this together first. Okay. So I've used a piece of piece of blue fabric I had and green, yeah. pieced this together first, okay. so, sewed it together before I appliqued. You know, so you can really, you really can personalise them and make them, make them Fabulous. your own thing. I think for sure. is, is that the back stitch? Okay. Yeah, just doing a little okay. back stitch on this one. Yeah. Um, Sorry, it's um, just like I don't know the terminology. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm days, not doing yeah. a very good job at this because oh, my well, stitch is a little bit because yeah. I'm chatting and not concentrating. It's TV. It's just, it never nothing works as you expect it on TV. <laughs> Everything goes a little bit w wrong sometimes, especially today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, all I do is I, just back stitching um, his little mouth and um, mouth and nose in. Yeah. Um, but you again, you could give him eyebrows. Oh, you, so you, you could stitch into his body to make it look like wool and yeah, stuff. So. Yeah. 
in the end. Mm. Right. So, oh, look at that. I mean, and the thing is, even though you have the layers of the um, um, adhesive, mm -hmm. uh, it is still you are sewing through oh, it. Oh yeah, no, crazy. absolutely. It's it's ever so. It goes really nice and soft the bond web, so ah. you know it's not difficult to stitch through at all. Yeah. No. Um, so it's not particularly. Would you bad. recommend to you go for a, a well? Of course, and that one is included in the kit. Mm -hmm. But say, for instance, I do my quilt and then I want to do the book. Yeah. Um, now, would you recommend for me to use just Wonderweb, or is there any other ones that I could use? Or could uh, I use the bas? No, so you need something a little bit stronger than this, ah. because that's just a temporary adhesive. Okay. Oh, um, I see. So yeah, you do want something like Bonderweb or Heat and Bond yeah, is okay. another one. Any fusible webbing, yeah. Um, but yeah, you, yeah, yeah, just something that gives it a more permanent that's stick perfect. to perfect. it. Cause because I was thinking that I could use that, but yeah, you the question. yeah. <laughs> no, it's a little bit too temporary okay. that one. But brilliant for so if once you've done this yeah. and you wanted to make a page in a book or yeah. or quilt or you know, a bag or something, mm -hmm. you would use that to attach it to the wadding. And this is the of course the quilt basting uh, spray. So yeah. that now if you want to go of course for that for there's lots of different items on the website that you can find and everything that we have got. Now of course we have got also the quilt as you go the pre. Uh, oh let, let's have a look at it on the website <laughs> or on the images there is the pre-printed uh, batting of course it is uh, the uh, John Taylor um, as you go fair square uh, of, uh, of course, ten pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Now, of course, we have got them there. If you wanted to go, uh, you have got them. Uh, the item number is eight seven one six nine. Now we also have got hopscotch. What? <laughs> I need to see it written. Uh, hopscotch. Uh, that's it. Uh, now, of course, that is as well from the uh, June Taylor range quilt as you go hopscotch collection. And of course, you have got the patterns in there. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence plus B and P, of course. And of course, we have got a more items from you. Of course, from White Gecko. We have got the, um, of course, the patterns. Now, when most of you are going to the, of course, the, um, of course, you have got uh, the three different patterns. Now, you can go for individual ones or you can go for the complete collection, which is where many of you are going. Now, if you want to go for one set, of course, we are going to have a look. The set A here, which is the one that has got the well, and is that one. I believe it's that one, that one with the elephant. So if you're gonna, gonna have a look, so you have got the elephant, you also have got the well, you have got, uh, you know, like the owl, as you can see there, you have got the penguin as well. I'm gonna turn it around now. And then you kind of see it. Oh, I kind of let, well, I'm going to turn it around. Don't worry. The owl is upside down. No one wants to go. So that's the penguin. That's the owl. And then you have got here. Oh, look at the dog. And then look at the face. So remember this template, you have got the, also the instructions on how to make this fabulous quilt in there. But of course, like Sarah was saying, you can then use it for other, uh, for other projects. I love the idea of making a soft book in there as well, because then it means that there is so many possibilities for this template. Now, of course, you have got fair usage of them. So, if as long as you do them for charity or for fun, finished projects, you can maybe put them on onto an apron there as well. The options B as well that we have got for you. It's the one that features, of course, the uh, B. You have got also the airplane. You have got the uh, sloth in there. You have got the fire engine. The uh, the cup cupcake and you, of course you have got the instructions for that one as well that's option B and then finally option C that we have got here is the one that I believe is behind me uh, which is the one that fe features as well look at that and uh, look at the, the sailboat as well we have got the uh, spaceman as well we have got of course a different like dinosaurs the, the dragons our Shana is happy because it has got a dinosaur and of course the teddy bears and you have got of course the templates for the hedgehog and as well as the instructions that's your option C however if you want all three of them the complete co complete collection go for that one because it has got a B and C 48 per templates of in total nearly three quarters of the stock has already gone your price 39 pounds and 97 pence carries forward the saving with an additional eight pounds saving now two payments of 99 p 19 pounds 99 is your option if you want to flexibly 387 673 is your item number. 
then we have got another option here. Now, these ones are the baby quills. We have got three options for you, four options actually. So we have got the first options in here, which is the animal option. So you have got the giraffe, the owl, but also you are gonna get the bee and a full alphabet template. You are getting the template, but more importantly, you are getting all the fabric to create a full front of the quilt. You have got in detailed instructions as well as how to put it together. And of course that alphabet, which means that you will be able to actually incorporate it, them into like the letters exactly instead of welcome you could maybe put your your name or somebody's name or somebody nickname uh, maybe you want to put you know if your children child is called Paula you could put Paula uh, I'm, I'm definitely many many people in the world that are called well many people are called Paula many 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 people are called Paula it's spelled exactly the same way uh, now of course we have got another uh, another option for you which is the transport with the fire engine, we have got the sailboat, we have got the moped in here, the template of the car as well. You know, so remember you are getting all these applique templates that then you can trace over. And remember, Sarah has included as well the bond web. So you can kind of just trace through that and then apply your fabric, cut around it nice and neatly, and then you will have a fabulous quilt because you are getting all the fabric, including the background fabric for that applique. That's your transport. Then we have got your cute which is the one that is uh, the one in here in pink. And I do apologize before I did say that it was um, gender specific. It's not, of course, there's a lot of people like pink in the, well, from both uh, genders. And you have uh, butterflies, you have got the unicorns. And also once that you have got the templates, you can use them time and time again. What about making changing the colorway? If you wanted to incorporate maybe more purple, it's up to you. But in this quick kit, you have got all the fabric as well as the wonder web to make transfer those patterns and make sure that the applique doesn't fray while you are cutting and sewing. Then what the final option we have got, of course, is nautical. I think that's my favorite with those beautiful blues coming through. And then what uh, what do we get as templates? Well, of course, the seahorse in there. We have got those gorgeous, uh, you know, I love uh, our producer favorites uh, the well of course Sarah's favorite as well you are getting the gel the the crabs uh, now of course you have got the fish the jellyfish so many different uh, templates in there that create a, a baby quilt you'll get the instructions and of course all the fabric to create which is that colorway in there now two uh, 207871 is your item number. Remember there is a flexible, you choose whichever option you want. The option, the flexible option means that it's two payments, interest free of 26 pounds and some pence. And if you want one of payments, is a uh, one of payment is 52 pounds and 99 pence. Then we have got, of course, uh, the, uh, I think they are fabulous. Now this one is uh, the Take Note books. It is a quilt of notebooks. It's a fabulous uh, lined papers, but you have got, of course, the instructions here you have got some terminology for quilting it tells you helping you to quilt um, you can take notes in here what ha what sorts of um, you know measurements you need to and maybe sometimes like planning your quilt I like that you can draw a lot more lines into it and then the last page as well tells you exactly the measurements for a fat quarters what it is and it's absolutely fabulous you have got the black and white then you have got the multi and then you have got the cream which is the one that features more dressmaking is that an option 681281 is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence plus p and p now from that we have got some thread of course you cannot sew without some thread and we have got the codes moon option so there is two different options the top uh, one is the top step is the neutrals and then the bottom one is the color Personally, I think this one is, they are both equally popular. I'm not surprised because here at Hochanda we have got a mix of uh, viewers that have been incredibly, um, you know, with a lot of experience of sewing, but some newies like myself. So for the newies, probably I will go for the, um, you know, more neutrals because they now know I have got my old, co uh, old bases covered. However, if I had gone for the um, quilt uh, kids, I would go for the colors because that, as Sarah was explaining, would match 
perfectly or we can just use and mix and match with those beautiful bright fabrics that you have got there. You can see here that you have got the navies in the neutrals, you have got the greys, the light greys, the creams, the whites, you have got the black as well. Now if you want to go for that, remember it's the neutrals or the colour option that you have got 867915 is your item number, £20.95, and pence, making a saving of £5. Other items on the website you can find uh, from this show and other shows you can find them of course at hochanda.com but if you shop our brand white gecko craft lounge we have kind of see that on the website and that will link into it there you have can have them a look at there there you have it popular brands of course we have got uh, the different ones and of course white gecko is one of them look i love the logo as well and look at all those templates as well that you can get and all the different fabrics that will be featured of course at 11 a.m as well with our set now you can see all the different templates you could tailor as well elements from her uh, you have got oh look at that <laughs> oh that ruler that looks the degree ruler that sounds posh mm -hmm. uh, a little <laughs> bit of liberty and we like uh, a little bit of liberty oh every now and again uh, right so what are you going to show us now um so once you've finished decorating yeah. it all mm -hmm. you know like, like we were saying earlier yeah. you know do your blanket stitch decorate away add extra you know you can add extra yeah. little plea case and stuff in and mm -hmm. um, you're going to want to border it okay. so i thought i'd do some show you how to do Perfect. the sashing because yeah. it's incredibly simple yeah. but it's um you know if you've not done it before okay. it's just nice to have that little thing so okay. i'm just going to swap over the foot yeah. and put the quarter an inch foot on okay. um, um so if you've got a quarter inch yeah. foot because we use it a lot so okay. in dressmaking it tends to be like five eighths yeah. of an inch but quilting tends to be more qu okay. quarter of an inch on everything um so I've got some sashing fabric here okay. and you would do this with the, the baby quilts. So you've got the two different fabrics in there. So one's Farmers. for sashing and then one's for that outer okay. border. So I've got some sashing fabric here. Do we get a template or the measurements for the, the sashing and all everything? Absolutely, yeah, that's all on the pattern. The yeah, it's all in the written pattern about exactly what size you're going to cut yeah. this. Now, um, I tend to not cut my sashing fabric before I put it on. Okay. I leave it as a whole strip. Oh, that's a good um, tip. Because it gives you a little bit of leeway. So if your stitching's a little bit off. Yeah. Well, <laughs> in my case, yeah. it will definitely be. I mean, I, I mean I'm not going to show what I have done so far, <laughs> but it's like, ooh. But, but it's still, it's, it's, it, 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 that, those tips are what helps yeah. us beginners. Yeah, so if I'd have cut this to exactly yeah. 12 and a half inches first yeah. off, um, which is the, the yeah. size of the block. Ooh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, and your Did stitching's you a little bit off, it's not going to quite meet. So I tend to leave it as a long strip yeah. and then I stitch like it. it on. Okay, okay, so I'm just going to line that up. I'll lock okay. the raw edges together and right sides together. And you haven't even cut it, the salvage? No, no, I I'll, I'll trim that off in a oh, minute. Perfect. Yeah. Again, it's, you know, cut the salvages at the very end because it stops fraying of the fabric. That's the I reason they're there. That. So, um, mm. I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much. I love it. <laughs> mm. So I'm just going to whip down yeah. this line here. And now you have a quarter inch. I've got a quarter inch yeah. foot on, yeah, so that it's... Um, it's, d it's done the measurements for you, you know. Yeah. Um, if you don't have a quarter inch foot, a lot of machines, if you're using your standard foot, yeah. a lot of the machines, you can change the width of the, ah. the, the needle, you can move the needle over. Yeah. Um, so you can do that and yeah. And if your machine doesn't do that, just measure a quarter inch and put a piece of masking tape down. That's a very good yeah, You can yeah. just use that yeah. as your guide as well. Yeah. But nowadays, most machines do, yeah. you can get a quarter inch yeah. foot for most machines. Uh, that's so. the speed slowing, so everything is like the table is, is, is yeah, wobbling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just slow yeah. it down a little bit because it's quite noisy yeah. if I go too fast. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way down there and I'm just using the yeah. guide of the quarter inch foot there just to keep it all in place. It makes such a difference. Um, it does. I forgot that I had a quarter inch as uh, food, yeah. so I was using, you know, a guideline and I was so wrong. And then I finally saw the, the quarter inch food and I was like thinking, it makes so much, so much easier. Really, really does make does. things so much easier, yeah. absolutely. Um, and then we're going to just press this out. Yeah. So I'm not going to, I won't. Just you want grab the little yeah. iron in yet? Careful, because it's hot. So okay. there we go. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to press that seam out. Yeah. And always try and press from the front if you okay. can as well. Because, Why is that? Um, let me give you that one back. There we go. <laughs> um, if you press from the back, you can get tucks yeah. in it. So if I press from the back, you think it's all nice yeah. and flat, but you end up with, sometimes ah. with little tucks, which throws all your measurements out. Okay. So I always tend to roll back okay. from the top. You know, I wouldn't normally do it on my cutting mat either. I 
put a, a yeah. nine in Matt's name. I was, I, I was like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. But it's quite limited space, yeah. so I'm, uh, yeah. just now and then it's fine. But okay. I would normally use a cat yeah. mat, OK? A, a, a cat mat, mat. Yeah. 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 So and you've got this big long yeah. piece here like this. So what I would do now is yeah. just grab my ruler and okay. rotary cutter. All right. Which is... Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's fine to look at. Yeah. Um, and in order to get it nice and squared up, okay. I'm going to use one of the horizontal lines on the ruler mm -hmm. and line that up along that seam line that okay. I've just done. Okay. okay. So I'm going to line that up like that because if that's along the seam line, this has to be. Yeah. My maths teacher always said, you know, I would use yeah. geometry, and I never thought I would, but yeah. now I'm using it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take off that edge yeah. and then do exactly the same. On the other um, side. Uh, the, the pattern you are using is from the. This one, the sheep, the sheep is, I think, in the. the baby yeah, in the um, animal quilt. Animal quilt. Yeah, quilts. the baby quilt. Yeah, yeah and so he's that. in um, set C yeah. as well okay. of the yeah. applique templates. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. There we go. So I'm just trim that off. And by giving myself that extra, yeah. I've now got it really yeah. nice and square. I haven't had to worry if yeah. my stitching was a bit yeah. off. So I do that top and bottom. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done top and bottom, yeah. you can go along and do your side pieces oh. as well. And again, I would just overlap just slightly. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be a massive amount, yeah. just, just a, you know, a little bit, you know, eighth of an inch or so, and stitch that one yeah. down and give yourself a border. Oh, fabulous. Okay. So that's, that's how simple it, it is. It really yeah. is. And that's how we made the cushions, you know, the cushion behind you with the duck, you know, oh, yeah. just using... Let's, yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. A look. Can I... <laughs> I'll grab it. Yeah. Uh, now, I love this idea because yeah. it's just and it's just so lovely. And of course, that is. So you have got it here. That is what are you? Yeah. So I've just used um, the, some of the fabric from the duck yeah. on here. So I've done rather than doing a two and a half inch yeah. sash in, I did a little one and a half inch, and then added a two and a half inch on on top there on the outside. I made it into cushions. So these these applique templates don't have to be quilts. They can be you know, cushions or the front of a bag. You could quite easily make a back to this and make it into a tote bag yeah. and stuff. I, lo I, I, I love, I have to say, I love this one because mm -hmm. I, it makes it, you know, for somebody like who wants to a quick and easy project yeah. to get all different techniques, this would be a perfect start. Absolutely. Point. And you've got that instant satisfaction of making something yeah. as well. It's not, you know, a, a project that's going to take you a year to, you know, and be uh, to do. It's something you can do, you know, and get, get finished in. A day sort of yeah thing. indeed yeah. you can now if you want to go forward of course the baby quilt in the animal which is the one that Sarah has been using you have got the details on the screen two zero seven eight seven one to 52 pounds and 99 pence now I need to, to give you a, uh, a um, stock update on the applique template bundle the complete collection now uh, that is we are approaching limited stock. Please do check out your maskers if you have got that one. It always happens at the end of the hour. People start buying and buying, mm -hmm. and therefore you might miss out. If you have got that in your size, uh, please do check out your maskers. Nice three eight seven six seven six seven three is your item number. Remember, you have got your flexi. You can split the cost in two interest-free payments of nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, making a saving of eight pounds. That includes forty-eight templates. Mm -hmm. You're getting in the set A, the B, and the C. However, if you just wanted one of those, of course you can do that. You can get your know, for the A or B or C. The details are going to come across the bottom. Do check out your baskets for any item, of course, from White Gecko. We are, has been a really phenomenally busy. Uh, it is limited to stock, oh. the complete collection. <laughs> Please do check out your baskets. Thank you, Sarah. That's we will okay. do these. Oh, slightly different, of course, at 11. Yes, yeah, different products at 11. So, excellent. <laughs> do join us then. Keep watching Hot Under after the break.